All right, we have a couple more examples to get through. Starting with this one, log base 49 of x is equal to 3 halves. All right, so we remember how we're going to convert this from a logarithmic equation into something exponential. So fly the plane, this is your base, to that power is supposed to equal what's inside the logarithm. So that means we would rewrite this as 49 to the 3 halves is equal to x. So now we just have to simplify 49 to the 3 halves. Ooh, now remember, this means as a uh, denominator of 2 that we're talking about the square root of 49 and then we've got that power, that numerator of 3 to apply to that. So this is how we're going to simplify the expression. So the square root of 49 is 7 and 7 to the third. You can look on your power sheet and realize that this is 343. That wasn't too bad. It's almost like they're doing the work for you. You just have to pay attention, use the power sheet correctly, rewrite from a logarithmic form to exponential form, and you're going to be fine. All right, let's do log base x of 27 is equal to negative 3. All right, again, let's rewrite this because x is in a weird spot. And by rewriting it as an exponential, maybe we'll get somewhere with this. All right, so if you fly the plane, that's going to be x raised to the negative third is equal to 27. All right, we've got a couple of ways of doing this, but we did see something in the previous video where I can get rid of a power by using the reciprocal of it. So if I raise both sides to the reciprocal of negative 3, so that would be negative 1 over 3. Let's see how that works out. Raise this to the negative 1 third power. Now understand that you are raising to the negative 1 third power. You're not multiplying times negative 1 third. So here these guys are reciprocals. That's why we chose the reciprocal. And we just get x to the first on the right side. Well, look at what I did over here when I made this conversion from a rational power into a radical. So this denominator of 3 means I'm going to have the cube root of 27 and then raised to that numerator power which is negative 1. All right. So let's see, the cube root of 27 is 3. And I've got to do 3 to the negative first power. Well, when I raise to a negative power, that just means do the reciprocal. So that's going to be 1 over 3. Just like that. Now, as a bit of a bonus here, let's take a look at something like this. If I do log base 8 of 5x minus 1 equals 2. It may look a little bit more complicated because you have 5x minus 1. It looks more complicated inside the logarithm, but let's see what happens. If I rewrite things using that airplane, so 8 is the base to the power 2 is supposed to equal what's on the inside. Remember, the answer to the log is the power. We're talking about uh, exponents. So that means 8 squared equals the expression inside the logarithm, so that's 5x minus 1. Wait a minute, this looks... That guy looks familiar. He's just linear, right? So 8 squared is 64. And I've got 5x minus 1. So just a couple of steps, and I'm going to be done here. So let's get x by itself by adding 1 to both sides. And we have 65 is equal to 5x. And the final step is to divide both sides by 5. So x equals 13. So by rewriting this from a logarithmic form, into an exponential form, I get a nice linear equation to solve, and I'm done. So that's the, the step you're going to be taking for most of these equations. Fly that airplane, 
rewrite it as something exponential and solve it. Whether it is solve this linear equation or evaluate that guy. Maybe you have to solve something with powers. Whatever it is, I know you can do it.